Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We are the homies. I'm Ellie, this is Larry, and we are watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine season one, uh, episode five. For the full reaction in the link down below, you can find our profile in Patreon where we upload the full version of everything. And uh, yeah, you can also check the other links and subscribe if you want. And let's go. Now. <laughs> You guys see the dude I brought in today, the drug dealer? 81 years old. I think it's the oldest collar of my entire career. Eight years old dealer. Uh, dealer. Six year old for flashing. <laughs> was terrified dealer. to get in my backseat. God, you had sex with a 68 year old when you were in your 20s? You know how it is. You have a chance to bet an older woman. You... No, that is not an older woman. That's an old woman. That's someone's grandma. She was actually. That's how I know. Don't knock it to your trick. <laughs> Get ready for some stuff on a screen. Meet Fred Gorman, prominent citizen, lawyer, corpse. <coughs> now meet his wife, Ann Hort. She did not take his last name, but I believe she did take his life. Nice. Thank you, Charles. Sergeant Jeffords, my office. Uh-oh, he probably wants to talk to you about how your shirts aren't tight enough, probably. <laughs> <laughs> but I work best alone, except when it comes to sex. Actually, sometimes including sex. Will you just let us help? Okay, fine. I will let one of you help me. Charles. Yeah! I haven't fired a weapon since the incident. The mannequin incident. I'm familiar. <laughs> <laughs> there was an incident after that. Another incident? <laughs> you gotta cool it, man. I told Gina she could join us. I want to get certified. There has been a ton of crime in my neighborhood, and the cops in my precinct are very bad. You live in our precinct. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Does not have a secret knife hiding place. Hey, you want to hear it again? Idea for a novel. A mild-mannered doorman is <laughs> on the penis by a radioactive spider and becomes the world's greatest lover. <laughs> no, no, don't stop it. I want to hear what happens. This is terrific. Who saves the first lady, if you must know? Oh, boy. Well, hello. I heard you guys were making the rounds again. All right. <laughs> this one's all you, Tiger. Come on. <laughs> hey, ma'am. Thank Come. God. Here, hold this. The lasagna's burning. Okay. Um, Get the door. But don't let it touch the baby. Oh. Puncture wounds are similar to a case I had a while back. They aren't from a knife. I think it's something spiral like a corkscrew. <laughs> Don't shush me. I'm helping you. No, I'm holding a baby. That was actually very helpful. Thank you. Uh oh. The baby back here. Now. Oh! Hello, Peralta. Oh! No, no, no. I don't know why you're so upset, man. I'm the one who had to come into this backwater stink. Captain, please, please, pretty please do not let him take over my case. Major crimes is stepping in. Nothing I can do. You're off the case. I can't believe you're just rolling over and giving my murderer away to the vulture. We call him the vulture because he swoops in and solves cases that are almost solved and takes the credit for himself. I told you for weeks to use the squad and you refused. I used them. I mean, Rose is the one who figured out the corkscrew and Charles caught a dog. Well, congratulations, <laughs> Detective Boyle. That's like, that's you exactly like you. <laughs> Turn over your files to Detective Pembroke. But in protest, I'm walking over there extremely slowly. <laughs> God, this is so boring. For both of us. <laughs> Before I saw this case, I'd like to thank you for doing all the super easy work. Looking good, Santiago. And Foxy Ma. Go rotten hell. This is your fault. And hey. You feel free to call me anytime you need me to come down here and help powder that big white ass of yours. Mm. But he's kind of hot. What? You can hate people and still think they're hot. Case in point, Manuel Noriega. You know what? <laughs> I'm with you on this. Tanya Harding. Yeah, she's thick. Right? Always classy, Jake. <laughs> One, two, three. I got him from here. Get up! Get up! Turn <laughs> <laughs> The right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Thanks, guys. I got it from here. I'm buying everyone drinks as long as we're here thinking of a revenge plan. Best idea gets 50 bucks. Throw them on out. What if you called him from a hospital and said his whole family is dead? Like he died of cancer. Charles, <clears throat> that is so dark. I'm putting it down. <laughs> No, Gina, we've been over this. Well, show me, like, wrap up. <laughs> 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 All right. 
Now, what stance am I supposed to do? A weaver or ice house? Oh, like you a... guys did stances? Like, yeah, everybody can no. do like, mm. Listen, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, look. Hey, both of you, just watch. <laughs> That's eight. Are you trying to have me recertify? Yes. If you make eight of 10 shots, I can sign off from you carrying a gun again. Gina's here as an official witness, and I thought it'd be easier for you in a no-pressure environment. I can't believe you tricked me. You only have one hit until you get recertified. So, deep breath, huh? <laughs> oh my God. Guys, how do you breathe? I forgot how to breathe. Is it two in, one out? <gasps> Steal his kidney, burn down his house, replace his aloe tissues with regular tissues. Thank you, Charles. Leave a dead cat in his cedar closet. Note, he would have to own a cedar closet. This is something I would do. Uh, well, I hate to say it, but I think by default, Charles's motorcycle idea is the winner. Yeah. <laughs> Dad vulture. Melt this thing. All right, give me your hair dryer. What, what are you talking about? Don't you carry one in your purse? Have you ever met a human woman? <coughs> There's a drugstore four blocks away. Human woman. Oh no. Scully traveling four blocks? That could take weeks. Whew. Oh, hey, Jake. Hey, do you carry a hair dryer in your purse? Of course, I'm not an animal. Great. <laughs> I need you to bring it to the vulture's apartment. There's someone named the vulture? Tell Rosa. Peralta, why are you asking Gina about the dead Pembroke? Oh, Captain, hello. Uh, we are. Preparing him a gift basket of sorts. And I suggest that you pull your team together and solve these cases before <laughs> major crimes can step in. You should be frowning. Why is Jake smile? Why are you smiling? Because the captain just gave us the perfect revenge plan. We team up and solve this case right now. You want to be the best. We all do. You just don't have to be such a butthead about it. What? I just can't believe you would call me a butthead. It's so harsh. Do what you like to. It's just the target looks exactly <laughs> like a friend of mine. It's just freaking me out. You have a friend who's just a silhouette. Yes. Let's all just count to a million. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. So when Iceman says, you can be my wingman any day. I say we role play. See if something sparks. Darling, thank you for a lovely dinner. Perhaps we should have one more drink before bed. Don't you, darling, me, you philanderer? No, you're the husband. The husband had the affair. Gets the corkscrew. Stab, stab, stab. What did she do with the corkscrew? She dumps in the hallway trash chute on the way to the doorman. No, we checked the trash like 10 times. We would have seen a bloody corkscrew. Sweetheart. Time to die. That's yeah, so harsh. <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> what if it was a magnetic corkscrew? If the corkscrew was on a magnet. It's stuck halfway down the inside of the trash chute. I figured it out first. Oh, uh, I can't see far enough down. Someone's gonna have to go down in there. Someone with narrow shoulders. No, I have broad shoulders. She has narrow, narrow shoulders. shoulders. Broad shoulders. Um, the magnet. Ah, uh, uh, this is for the... Um, for the trash? Yeah. What kind of precinct are you running here? Would you like to sit down, detective? You seem upset. Hell yeah, I'm upset. Your team disrupted a crime scene over which they have zero, zero jurisdiction. Holt is gonna kill you. I don't think he will, because, voila. You actually found the corkscrew in the trash chute? Stuck to the side. Oh. Oh, oh fuck. This is the proudest moment of my career. <laughs> oh my god, you guys, we out vultured the vulture. <laughs> What the hell was that? What? It's a vulture. Before you get mad. Shut it. Holt was right. I've been so worried about my own kids, I forgot about my stupid grown-up kids. That's insulting. I should have been on you guys more. And starting now, I will be. The boss is taking heat for something that's not even his fault. I can't let that happen. Wait. Damn it. Look, it's not your fault either. It's Amy's. I know, I know. It's mine. It's mine. Okay? God, I do not love how this worked out. I'd like to cordially invite you to calm down, especially considering that this case has already been solved. By you. Looks like you found the murder weapon. It's a good thing you realized it was magnetically stuck to the inside of the trash chute. Congratulations. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we're done here. Hey, keep up the bad work, chap. Here it comes. <clears throat> <laughs> Why does he keep touching my butt? All of you broke into a crime scene under the influence of alcohol, overstepped your jurisdiction, and disobeyed my direct orders. 
Everyone involved tonight is gonna get written up. Okay, fine. Here's everyone who was there. Jake Peralta, Jay Peralta. Also involved was the Right Honorable Jake. Okay, I know. My point is, it was a Peralta special, sir. No one else was there. Thank you. Ultimately, it was our raw sexual chemistry that helped him <laughs> overcome his crazy fear. <laughs> you should just stay in the office all day, every day, and be my bestie. You can join my dance troupe, Floorgasm. We're looking for a man of precisely your. <laughs> Yeah. Not things like just be long, yeah. <laughs> I need to go hug my baby girls. <laughs> Oop, time's up. Can't wait to see it. Uh, here we go. What? Oh, <laughs> Vulture. sent like a Enjoy gift or what? My big white ass. <laughs> Jake. Always take the high road. From your life. <laughs> Not a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. I'm really surprised I didn't watch this show before. Yeah, me too. Like before, I, because I watched Friends, Dwayne Kaufman, you know, a how lot. I met your mother. How I Met Your Mother. Like uh -huh. uh, Married with Children. Like a lot of TV shows uh, who are like, you know, this, this type of sitcom. Yeah. yeah. And I'm really like actually surprised that I didn't yeah. know, watch this one. But it is fun. Yeah. Yeah. So, see, see you, you next. Bye.